This is the last remaining watershed in north-central Mindanao. It's supposed to be protected land, but there's less than 10% of the forests left. Freshly cut logs are visible on the slopes and by the roadside, waiting to be smuggled out piece by piece and sold on the black market in defiance of a log ban. In the cities below, people are still reeling from the worst devastation the area has ever seen. Over a thousand lives lost when rains triggered flash floods that brought mud, debris, and thousands of logs cascading down from denuded mountains. These mountains sit on the intersection of four different provinces, one of them part of the autonomous Muslim region. So the environmental issues here cross not only geographical lines, but also political ones. This local mayor says he's done what he can within his borders, but that the neighboring autonomous region still grants its own logging permits. He insists it isn't in his power to interfere or stop any logs from then being transported through his city. Why in heaven's name should I be blamed for that? If you talk about violating the order of your president, you should ask them that. Why cannot they impose it? They should be able to impose it, actually, not ordinary mayors like us. The national government has environmental checkpoints set up in known logging zones, but they've been ineffective, with many residents saying it doesn't take much to bribe authorities to look the other way. There are local officials <laughs> who, who need to, to really be sanctioned, and some national officials as well. You're really playing with, with what really is Mindanao's future. It's not just the ecosystems that are damaged, it's the entire sort of econ economic prospects and opportunities for, for the whole region. One thing all sides now agree on is that a more unified approach to environmental management is needed. National police and military intervention is being considered and disaster preparedness is being re-evaluated. Painful lessons were taught here and survivors hope officials have finally learned them. Margot Digas, Al Jazeera, Northern Mindanao, the Philippines.